For those of you who aren't familiar with this face, I am a singer, songwriter, keyboard player, and producer, mostly in rock and roll. Today, we're at Countdown Studios on 26th Street in Manhattan. And before I tell you any more about it, let's go inside and take a look. Countdown Studios was opened about 13 weeks ago by Rhea Nierenstein, who happens to be a singer, and she knew something that's very close to all our rock and roll hearts, and that is that we need a place where we can hear vocals clearly and still have a band play at full volume. In these 13 weeks, Countdown has become probably the most popular studio in New York with new bands. Tonight, we're going to be talking to Wolfgang Busch, one of the major promoters in New York of new rock bands and minority rock bands, and one of the bands that he discovered and turned us all on to. So why don't you come into the studio with us? Wolfgang. Hi, Becca. How you doing, huh? How are you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> what you doing here? Well, I came <laughs> to visit you and find out something about what you've been up to. I understand uh, that you're really currently the number one promoter and one, number one discoverer of new bands in New York City. How did you get into that position? Um, that's very easy. You go out uh, almost every night to all the major clubs, CBGBs, uh, Limelight Cat Club, uh, China Club, and just uh, look out to uh, the new bands in town and uh, and just take it from there. You take a lot of chances. You don't know how good they really are. You the screening process is very high. I saw in one year almost over 300 bands. And from there, I'm working now with maybe 10 or so. Well, how do you pick those 10 bands? What is it that, that strikes you about them? Um, they have to have a, a magic that just um, has to uh, kill me, in a way. <laughs> Knock you out. Knock me out, yeah. They have to have a magic, and they have to have a lot of talent. And, um, Do you have advice for new bands and how they would, how they would uh, attract somebody like you? Well, uh, I would suggest the bands interested should watch my TV show in January, February on Manhattan Cable. And uh, I think from there, they can see what I'm looking for. I understand your third annual New York New Rock concert is going to be on cable soon. Uh, yeah, that was uh, taped live at Limelight with uh, lots of uh, great talent, and um, we see what happens. It came out really good. We edited it uh, last week. It's finished, and uh, it came out really good. I understand we have one of the bands that you introduced at your concert working here in the studio tonight. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, Among the Living is here to record a new 12-inch, and uh, Dan is uh, in the studio putting some vocal tracks down. So why don't we go over there and meet Dan? Let's look. not interrupting anything. No, not at all. <laughs> Actually, I just finished um, trying to do a track, a uh, vocal track, for our new song. Which is called? Uh, Looking Out For You. Looking Out For You? It's going to be a 12-inch single. For those of you who are not familiar with uh, the music of the 90s, it's really involved in a lot of technology, a lot of uh, basically computers and synthesizers all hooked up together. How do you deal with all this modern technology and how do you feel about it? Well, it, it makes writing and the whole creative process a lot easier mm -hmm. because you're not dependent on five or six or seven people to create a sound that you obviously need to put, put a song together. You can also sort of catch ideas before they slip through your fingers. Exactly. If you, if you have an idea, you can put it down immediately so you don't forget it and you don't have to chart it out. Well, what's up next for you? Uh, Next, we're, well, we're playing around town a lot. Uh, in the meantime, we're negotiating with some labels uh, to get this 12-inch single, Looking Out For You, out there. 
So um, I think I think it's going to uh, happen within the next couple of months. How do you describe your music? How do you feel that? And what does it say? Well, it's uh, it's about people. You know, I, we're called among the living because we are, and um, our songs are about people. That's the human element that we contribute to all of the high technology that we use. We'll be back in coming weeks with more new sounds and new music that you're going to be hearing in the 90s. For Gay Cable Network and personally, my name's Zeka. I wish to thank you all for being here and wish you all Happy New Year. Good night, everybody. See you again soon. Outweek is the only weekly gay and lesbian news magazine for the whole community. Outweek is both informative and provocative, controversial yet accurate and responsible. Outweek is on the newsstand every Monday. To order your subscription to Outweek, call 1-800-OUTWEEK. Visa and MasterCard accepted. Rebecca speaks with Paula Martinak, the editor of a new...
guys. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. It's really great to have you. First of all, let's kick it off with you. You're Fred. Yeah. Right. And let's introduce the band members. Uh, that's Dave Chen on guitar. That's John Bell on drums. That's John Foster on keyboards and left-handed bass. Okay, great. And we're going to be hearing more stuff from you guys. In fact, right now we're going to go to another of your song, right. which is going to be? Uh, the next song is uh, Guilt Machine. Guilt Machine with Shoot and the Doctor live here on City Rock. Okay. Go to it. <laughs> Why not turn off? 
this opportunity to introduce yeah. uh, my bass player, who is also as beautiful back. Okay. <laughs> Great. So welcome to the show. Okay. Now, recently you guys played at the China Club here right. in New York, and that's mm -hmm. on 75th Street, Broadway. Yeah. You guys gonna be playing at what club tomorrow night? Tomorrow night we're playing the Limelight. And? And uh, we start about 11 o'clock. Should be a great show. That's uh, one of our favorite rooms to play. I think uh, we really do well. There, so okay, great. To it. There are a lot of things with a lot of New York bands that a lot of people say, well, it's easy to be in New York. You know, you have all the recording studios, the recording companies. It will, it will be sort of easy to make it, make it big. How true is that? Not at all true. <laughs> I don't think uh, this is a very hard business, and uh, I don't. I think it takes as much extra effort as you can muster up to uh, to make it. Oh, <laughs> to make it in this business, no matter where you are. But uh, okay, New York. I, I think in New York, it is true that you are. You, you have a lot more open to you as far as possibilities. I think uh, you know this is one of the key places to make it. Okay, it's, it's great. It's tough no matter what way you look at it. So you guys have been around for a couple of years now? Oh, about a year and a half, actually. A year and a half, yeah. actually. And you guys are working on an album coming out? Uh, we're doing some recording right now, but uh, nothing that's going to be on vinyl soon, but hopefully. Hopefully, so we, sh we should be seeing uh, Shoot the Doctor on vinyl or CD, whatever it is. We're doing the East Coast Rocker uh, Band Contest finals uh -huh. on the uh, 18th. 18th. January 18th at the Cat Club. Oh, that should be really great. There's always uh, possibilities. Great. Come so, come on and support the band down at the car club uh, for the East Coast Rocker uh, record uh, contest. contest, and uh, you, you'll see these guys and uh, show a, ho a host of other bands, but not as good as these guys because you guys are really exciting. What sort of uh, bands inspire you guys to come together, to jam together, to form your music? It's really a, a strange mesh of people here. We all are inspired by different. Uh, we all have different inspirations and different people we were influenced by. Okay, so let's start with a drummer. Okay. Who would you like to know? <laughs> who, is, who influenced you to become a drummer? Why not, uh, who is your main guy for drummer? Myself. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good I'd start. Say, uh, probably influences, um, I'd say John Bonham would be a, a big influence of mine, and uh, more current would be like a high-tech type drummer like Terry Bozio, Simon <laughs> Phillips. Uh, just basically backbeat, okay. orientated type drummers. And for the synthesizers, let's go to you. My influences are so far across the range, uh, anywhere from classical, from J.S. Bach, who I was going to throw in there, all the way up to you know modern minimal synthesizers like Greg Hawks of the Cars. Mm, okay, I guess like Kelly Lee must play a good role in your life too, as well. <laughs> <laughs> and for Sebastian Beck, the guitar who looks guitarist who looks like Sebastian Beck. <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, the bass guitarist. Uh, no, you just mentioned Getty Lee. He's a very big influence. Uh, you know, Will Lee, all the studio guys are. Are a big influence, but I really like the uh, John Paul Jones type groove uh -huh. you know, player. I guess John Oswald too, and uh, oh, let's see, uh, Paul McCartney, who's playing around somewhere. He's not <laughs> bad either. No. <laughs> he's not up there on the list, but he's not. For the lead guitarist, you do a great job on the, on the fretboard. There, you do really good. <laughs> <laughs> Fretboard wizard. Yeah. Who who are you influenced by? Any and all guitar players. <laughs> yeah. That's great. That's a that's a very safe answer. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. Would it be um Bono from U2 who influenced you? Uh, slight influence, but nothing really. David Bowie. My main uh, influences are probably people like Peter Gabriel. Uh, and even like Rob Halford and Judas Priest, people like that. I have very strange influences. You know. Great. I'll give you such a general answer. <laughs> Thank you. So it's all great that they have all these different influences come together to form a band called yeah. Shoot the Doctor. And of course, they're here with us live on CD Rock. And you did a promotional uh, thing down at the uh, Hot Rod, Hot Rod yeah. Club. They had a couple new bands. Blonde Venus was there. Last Don Venus night. was there, uh, Chacha Fernandez and the Slumlords, uh, Kit Bakus and the Serious Pilgrim from uh, Staten Island. And it was the opening of a series of showcases at uh, Hot Rod. Great. So we're going to be seeing, I guess, more, more great bands coming out there. And the yeah, next uh, Friday is, um, let me see, Planet v Virtue um, and uh, Raining Violet, which I highly uh, recommend. Okay, and now for the update on uh, City Rock. We had world famous uh, City Rock band update for, featuring Colombo and Limbo with, new, with a new album out. Judy Adler is going to be f performing at the Eagle Tavern on Tuesday, January 9th, and the Abbey Jane Band at the Tumble Club, January 20th at midnight. And then 
To write in the, so City Rock, he can write into 545 West 59th Street, New York City, New York, 10019. And of course, we can answer all your favorite questions. And those questions that we won't answer, we'll just throw them away. <laughs> and back here with uh, Wolfgang Bush, of course, with uh, his club, New New, New York, New, New York. York, New Rock is the name of yeah. the company. Yeah. And tell us a little bit more of the club, or oh, the company. The company, well, I'm negotiating uh, with uh, a new club that opened up. Um, Ron Wood from the Rolling Stones has opened Woody's, which is a gallery mm -hmm. upstairs, and uh, Rock Club downstairs. And uh, I would. So like I guess you have a good company. You have an experienced guy upstairs, <laughs> Ron yeah. Wood. Well, uh, we try to use that for publicity um, to attract a more audience to come to the rock showcases. Okay, great. What, uh, what, what do you have coming up planned for us in the near future? For um, in February, the um, third anniversary party of New York New Rock was taped live at Limelight. And you can watch it on Manhattan Cable and Paragon, uh, just look in the cable guide, it's listed under New York, New Rock. Okay, great, then we're going to be going back to a couple more videos now from City Rock's alumni, so take it away, John. Good guys, yes they would, right here on the City Rock. Can run the last couple of minutes, guys. Tomorrow night, you guys are going to be at the Limelight. Limelight, right. At what time? Going on first, uh, 12.30. 30. Tomorrow, Dave is going to sing. Albert's going to play keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Nine. So we're going to have the original Dinner lineup. at 11. Okay, great. And uh, if we, you guys are also going to be down at uh, the Cat Club. Cat Club on the 18th. On the 18th.